Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the concept of the carbon bubble. Um, it's the, the idea that we're not properly accounting for the impacts of burning all the fossil fuels um, that we have on the planet. Um, at Intelligent Partnership, we, um, we are fans of renewable energy. We have some renewable energy investments that we distribute through advisors. Um, personally, I, I like to think of myself as very green. But this isn't just a, a woolly green issue um, and I would encourage you to pay attention to this because it actually is an economic issue which could have quite big impacts on um, assets that your clients are invested in. So um, I'll, I'll talk very briefly about what it is um, and um, you, can, you can draw your own conclusions. So what exactly is the carbon bubble? Well, Scientists um, globally they've agreed that two degrees centigrade warming from the, the level of global temperature that we had before the Industrial Revolution is the absolute maximum that the planet can tolerate. If we go beyond that then the consequences are going to be very 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 dire and the planet won't be able to sustain civilization as we know it. Um, they can calculate how much carbon we need to burn to get that two degrees of warming and it's actually 565 gigatons so it's an awful lot of carbon but the difficulty is we've actually got five times that amount of carbon in proven reserves so if we burn all of the carbon that we have proven reserves for we're going to exceed that two degrees um, warming level that we you know scientists agree is the absolute maximum that we could possibly consider. The other difficulty is all of the major oil companies and fossil fuel companies listed on the stock exchange where people are invested, those companies are valued on the basis that we are going to burn all of that carbon. So we're either going to burn all of that carbon and we're going to cook the planet or governments are going to legislate and they're going to step in and say we're not going to burn all of that carbon because we know we can't exceed that two degrees of warming in which case all of those companies are quite severely overvalued. So what does that mean for investors? Well the vast majority of investors are, are going to have some sort of exposure to oil majors like BP, Shell, Exxon, companies like that. They're going to um, maybe be invested directly, uh, maybe through their pension fund or maybe through some other fund style investment. But obviously these are huge companies that are, are some of the biggest companies in the world and a, a major part of stock exchanges all around the world. Um, if they can't burn all of the carbon they've got in their reserves then they're dramatically overvalued and they're going to come down quite severely, um, the, the valuation is going to come down quite severely. So, that is a risk we really should be considering in our investment portfolios and that is a risk um, advisors should be considering on behalf of their clients. Um, it isn't um, just me saying this. Jeremy Grantham, one of the um, world's best known and most successful investors, um, he's also very concerned about the environment and he has already said he is selling all his assets that are in companies that are exploiting unconventional fossil fuels like tar sands and, um, and very deep water drilling. So he's already taking steps to reduce his exposure to these companies. So it, it is a serious consideration. What can advisors and investors do about it? Well I suppose the first step is to work out what your exposure to these fossil fuel companies is. Um, start to reduce your exposure and if you still need exposure to the energy sector, which obviously has huge investment benefits, um, perhaps consider investing in renewables. Um, there's a lot more information available on this topic. Um, if you Google Jeremy Grantham, you can find him talking about it. Um, you can also go to the Carbon Tracker website. Um, we, we put the link up on the, the slide link to this video. They have a lot of very good information on this topic. Um, an intelligent partnership have recently produced um, a sector report on investing in energy 
and in particular investing in renewables and that's available for download on our website.